I can do this. I can do this. I can do it. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah. Okay. All right, I can't. I'm not going to fly right up to it. Because if there's any bad people in there, I really, really, really don't feel like being shot. All right. It looks like... It looks like we got some solar panels. Those are oxygen farms. But that is a weird build. What is going on there? Okay. Okay, it's not important. Let's just go ask these people if they've seen any of my guys or if they can help. God, it's cold in space. This suit does not help with insulation at all. Hello? Alright, hang on, hang on, hang on. There. Hello? Is there anyone at this asteroid base? I'm a survivor of the ship above. I'm friendly. Hello? Hello? Um... That gun is surprisingly not shooting at me. Um, hello. I, okay, let's try going inside. Ooh, ooh, we have a pressurized environment. No way. Okay. Um, I don't see anybody moving around in there. Stop. Their locked doors are weird to me. Hmm. Oh, what is that? What is that? Oh, Commander! We are the survivors of the UC Arboreus, a mining exploration ship. We had a critical systems failure in our oxygen recirculation and cryogenic regulation subroutines and were forced to abandon ship. We lost three crew members during the escape, including our lead engineer, William Patriot. I'm alive! Without him, well, we're not the best builders. Yeah, I know he was killed in his cryopod on the ship. So we can attempt to make a jump capable ship and go home. We are leaving this outpost 346 cycles after the failure what? of the Boreas. We are leaving on a heading of 185 what? 233 if our antenna simulates north. Good luck. What? 346 cycles after the Boreas crash? How long was I in cryo? What? I don't get it. 346 cycles? It doesn't make any sense. I've been stuck in that thing for almost a year? They could be anywhere by now. Okay, 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 okay. Whew. They suck at building. They want to build... What did the commander say? They're building... They want to find a planet and a jump-capable ship to go home. Okay. That's going to take a lot of resource. That is going to take a lot of man-hours. That is going to take a lot of time. If they were here for one year... They were here for a year, then they left. So there, there's no telling how long it's been since they've left here. Okay, 
I know what I need to do. I am going to build a ship with scanning capabilities that can find that planet. They probably went to the nearest habitable planet in this system. So I'm going to build a ship that can get me there. Nothing too big, something fairly decent size. I'm an engineer for God's sake, so I can knock it out quick. First thing, what do they have in the way of resources? Nothing here. Wait a minute, did I just see what I think I saw? Oh, they have level three tools. I and a hydrogen and an O2 bottle. Let's see if this fills up. Nothing? Okay. Uh, oxygen, oxygen, oxygen. Generator. Auto refill, oxygen tank. Auto okay, that's why. Where's the tank? Where's the tank? Where's the tank? Oxygen tank. Yes! The hi does the hydrogen bottle fill up in this? If I actually put it in there, it probably does. That would make sense. I guess it does not. Okay, so... I need ice. I'm impressed they managed to get it all piped up. How is that connected? It's not connected. Okay. Okay, so, I can make a ship that can jump. First thing I'm going to do Oh my god, I have tools. First thing I'm going to do is bring the Boreas a little bit closer. And then I can figure out where I'm at from there. Alright. Alright, we're getting somewhere. Oh, that is nice. Progression is a good thing. Uh, okay, that one's actually that busted. I still want to know what did this to this ship, but I doubt I'm going to find out until I find the crew. I think I can just make this little busted area a little bit more presentable so I can exit. I think I have ice on the ship. If I have ice on the ship, then I can put it in that oxygen generator and I can get some hydrogen going. Not that when you're in space, your hydrogen consumes quick when you're using your jetpack. But it's better than, you know, nothing. Wow, the ship took some damage. Is that private sale? That's an SPRT tag. Those are the pirates in this region. Why did they have a private sale? I don't know anymore. I don't know what's going on. I, I don't even know where I'm at. Can we, can we get in the ship? This thing has seen way better days. Am I going too fast? Oh god, I, I am terrible at judging my depth. It's so hard to do in these large ships. That's why I never flew them. I am not a pilot. By any means. Um, let me think about this. Should be fine. That should be fine. We just want to get over. It's not that hard. Come on, just park the damn ship. At least I'm not going to hit the solar panels. That'd be great. And you just got this cool asteroid base that you're going to use for base of operations? Here, why don't you break everything that's here? Everything that probably took the guys and the crew about. 
three weeks to figure out how to build. Because, my God. Look at this. This is atrocious. We do have basically Infinite 2 which is nice. Everything's piped up into the refining system. We have air. Okay. You know what? We'll just go mine. So, let's uh get some iron. Yes. If I can actually catch any iron, it would be great. Is that all just falling into the abyss? It should. No, it's right here. Okay. So, we're mining here then. Wait a minute. I have... This suit can record. Where are you going? This suit can record. Alright, so... Let's, let's make sure we're good. Alright. This is the personal log of Engineer William Patriot of the United Colony Federation mining ship Boreas. Log start. Okay. Personal log one. I've woken up on the Boreas... It's been destroyed, basically. It's still flyable. There's no oxygen, except in the engineering section, which is my home. I've gone. I've lost the mining rig that is inside of it, to a well, well, to an oversight. Um, I decided on a randomized location, and was ridiculously lucky and I found a small outpost that the rest of the crewmen of the Boreas had made. I also found a message from the commander that luckily my suit recorded and I'm now going to play again so it's in the logs. Bear with me. As I said for the personal log, that was the commander. He appears to be alive with at least 10 or 11 other crewmen. He thinks I'm dead. Well, I'm not. And I'm going to find them. Or if they're already gone... I'm going to find where they were, and then I'm going home. Because I am tired of being stranded out here on this easy mission. Well, easy. First of its kind, deep space exploration ship. Seems like a great idea to send it out with untested tech, but hey. You know, don't consult the greatest engineer that, you know, the UCF has. Because that would completely and totally make sense. Anyways, I'm ranting in this personal log and I need to stop. I'm currently deciding... I've currently set a goal for myself that I need to gather resources, build a ship, find that planet. If the video is recording on this, let's do this real quick. This is the antenna. If the antenna simulates north like the commander said, 
That's going to be north. 233 by 185 is going to be uh, here by 185. And that's a positive 185. And we're looking at here. So in this direction, roughly, is the direction that they have left on. What I want to do is I'm going to check scans. And if I get any, a scan of any bodies in that direction, any large planetary bodies or giant asteroids that could be mistaken for planets or dwarf planets, I will be heading in that direction. But for the time being, my one goal and my one purpose in life is to just survive, I guess. This is William Patriot, lead engineer of the United Colony Federation ship Boreas, signing out for log one. Okay, okay. Basically, basically that'll keep me from going insane while I do this because there's nobody else here. And I will probably go insane if I don't talk to myself or have a goal. For now. Wait a minute. Their medical bay is hooked up. I can finally get out of this god-awful cryo suit. Oh, man. Gotta get in my engineering get up. Here we go. Yeah, there we go. A nice, dark, engineering blue. Makes me happy. Okay, 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 okay. Let's see. Is there any ice on this asteroid? Because I know I've got some of the Boreas, but I'd like to keep it there. <laughs> Outstanding! Only problem is that it's gonna fall. Alright, I'm loose on. You know what? Why don't we do this? Okay, so our gravity's a little wonky. Physics. It's because I'm an engineer and I know what I'm doing. I'm also a survivor of a crashed ship and I'm freaking terrified and am highly confused as to if I'm going to live or die. Because, to be honest with you, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. When I was in college, they never told me, hey, you know, you may just go out in space, be hundreds of light years away from home, and... You might be the sole survivor or the only one left on the ship after everybody leaves for some strange reason because something blew up in your ship. I bet if I'd have built that ship, nothing would have happened. I bet that's how that would have gone. Uh-huh. Because my ships don't explode. Okay, the mining ship exploded, but that's only because I'm not a pilot. Calm down, William. That's... Not your fault. Honestly, one load of ice should be fine for now. <laughs> yes, and I have hydrogen. Oh, it's beautiful. It's it's a good thing. It's a good thing. All right, where, where are you? There you are. All right, so I guess we can start making some parts. Uh, first off, steel plates. We're gonna need a lot of those. So let's do 1,500 of those. I don't even... Yeah, I've got enough. Alright, next thing. Now that we've got some base resources from that, we're going to go steal some of the, the resources from this guy. Because he's not using it. What do we got? Ow. A little bit of silicone. Now we got more. We'll leave that refine there. 
grab some of this iron. Alright, so we have three of some of the most basic resources. Cobalt, silicone, and iron. To go ahead and stick these guys in the assembler. That, that was the wrong assembler. I'm just going to move this down here so it stops freaking out. Alright, more resources. What do we got? Looks like iron. Big surprise. This is just a solid ball of rock and steel, basically, is what, what I'm seeing. Whoa. Whoa. Five military? Five kilometers? Oh, God. Stay away from me, please. I cannot deal with that right now. They will kill me. There is zero question. Ooh, more ice. Cool. All right. Well, there don't look to be any other resources on this rock. So what I'm thinking is since I suck at flying, and I don't really think I have the... I do have the parts for this. What am I talking about? I have a massive salvage ship right there. Okay. You know, we're actually going to do this. Because I think... Yep. Some of these mining craft... These didn't get completely destroyed by those warheads. So we are going to rebuild on them. We're going to make it work. Which one looks the best? This one still has pretty much all of its engines. So let's fix it. We can make this work. It won't be as gangly as the other ones, which is good. We don't want it to be as heavy either. Because that thrust to weight is ridiculous. And that's what caused me to fail last time. The inertial dampeners couldn't keep up with the speed that I was traveling. And I may have flew backwards into an asteroid. Completely on accident. Didn't mean to do that. Alright, let's start another personal log. Personal log. Engineer William Patriot. Log number two. I've decided to retrofit one of the busted shells from one of our little mining ships inside the Boreas. When I woke up, a few minutes afterwards... The reactors, I guess, overloaded on these, and they just violently blew up. It scared the ever-living out of me. But uh, there's some parts left over, so I've decided to use those and retrofit them into a new mining craft. You know, I have gravity. Sorry. I've re I'm going to retrofit this into a new mining craft and get together some resources on this base and I'm going to start working on that big ship. Let's see what I got from it. A decent amount. A decent amount. Um, that's probably enough steel plates for now. Let's build a good base here. It would help if I turn my inertial dampeners on. I'm going to leave this log running to catch anything that happens. Because if it's not on paper, it's not recorded, it didn't happen. You know, we're actually going to build that base too. Alright, alright. Coming along, coming along. Good enough. Pack it all up. Oh, man. Why didn't we get these welders in school? These are ridiculous. Tier 3 tools. Man. That's... Whew, that's nice. I don't know what the purpose of these are. Was it decoration? Why these were there? I, I don't know. I don't even know. Alright, so... This is ridiculous. I, I can't get over this. Alright, so we're going to need a large cargo container. We're going to need a cockpit. Alright. 
Um, we're going to need more thrusters. We'll tack the drills on afterwards, but for now, we'll run with small ones. I don't really want to put another big one on here. Uh, all right, so, oh, and this would help. We're going to put a large reactor on it so it can... Yeah, we're just going to put that in the back. Uh, I need interior plate. So I need to go find something on the ship that has interior plate. And I'm going to just rip stuff off of this ship. Do you have interior plate? You do not. You have quite a few interior plates. So this passage is gone. This one too. Just because. Alright. We are getting somewhere. This, this is working for me. Yeah, we're going to connect you like that. No, we're not. It's terrible. We're going to connect you like that. Are you even? Are you even? Because I am a symmetry nut, and if it's not even, it's going to bother the ever-living bejesus out of me. Alright, so let's put you there. And let's put you... There, and that should match for conveyor. Wow, I built a lot of that. Uh, computer, motor, and display. And what about this? And this door here. What do you have? Computer, motor, and display. Look at that. Oh, man. I need a lot more computer, motor, and display. What do you have in you? You have computers and motors. Take one of you. Whoa, oh, that's not good. Alright, so keep your eye on your inventory because it's probably gonna get. I'm stupid. I'm stupid. Um, let's see here. I'm going to put all of you up. And then I'm going to grind this down because it's a daggum cargo container. And I can use that to finish my cargo container. I'm an idiot. Come on. Come on. Come on. Look, it's like it was meant to be. And I need reactor components and computers for that. I think this has computers in it, doesn't it? This control? You have 20. You're gone. <laughs> Out of here. I don't plan on opening or closing these hangar doors anytime soon. Alright, now I need reactor components. I need 95 of those. And honestly, I can't remember what it takes to build the reactor. Um... Reactor component. I know it takes a bit of reactor. It's generalized parts and then the special parts, which are the components. Um, I could take them out of one of these. God, that has 2,000 in it? Let's do this. Reactor components. I don't have any silver. I have to do it. off. Uh, that, that should be enough. I may have to make another trip. That's a, those things are so heavy. Wow. And this grinder is ridiculously fast. Alright, so we're getting there. We're getting there. And I've got uranium for days in this shit. You know what? Let's just, let's just be smart about this and just start going in and out the giant hole in the side of the ship. That is disorienting. Uh, that one? Yeah, that one. Okay, that's definitely enough. Actually, that's like way too many. 
Sweet flip. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. So we are progressing with this ship. Reactor done. Woo. All right, now. I mean, I could put it there. I, I could just slap it right onto the front. But I think we're going to do this first. I've got to get some gyros in here. Stupid fast, right there. Should be enough room for gyros. Display and bulletproof glass. Well. Give me a window. That was really fast. Okay. Um. Dang, what has displays in it? This airlock door does, but I don't need pressurized environment anymore. That is, uh, it's got, it's got one? Really? Hi, uh, engineering. Oh, and I gotta move those over too. That's going to make production go so much faster. You're pretty much displays. You go away. Alright, so I think I'm going to get some power to this ship. And then... I think I'm just going to head to my... No, I'm not going to my cryopod because my cryopod is terrifying. And last time I went in my cryopod, people died and I got screwed so yeah that's not happening all right i see what you're doing. boo boo you this was like day one basics when you're engineering a ship your internal conveyor systems will not work if there's no power so i piped that in but if i'd have put the uranium in here it would have just sat here i couldn't have moved it up i could have moved it over anyways because i'm a stupid because that's turned the wrong way. But, I have power now. Uh, let, still that god awful red color again. Why? Is this, is this a chameleon suit? It's like, no. You're, you're gonna be in a red suit. That's, that's how the world's gonna work. And you're gonna deal with it. But hey, at least my enemies can't see me bleed. They couldn't, anyways, I'm in space. What it takes to build these. Do I have enough? No. I need large steel tubes. Get them done except for that large steel tube. Wow. And I think... Yeah, you have a large steel tube in you. What about you? Do you have one? They're going to float off, but I don't really care. Love it. I need one more because I got three gyros. Gotta go through your thruster components. Come on. And I just put all of my stuff in there. Hey, I stopped it from catching on fire though. That's you know, that's nice. Um I gotta put these thruster components up. These are way too daggone heavy. I think we were using this one. Oh, I'm a stupid. Derp. Okay. Okay, so ship's gonna be operational. The bare bones of operational. It's gonna have thrust in every direction, and it's gonna have power and storage. And a gyro. So. I may die. Whee! But we have... We 
have a ship. One that I can easily attach a drill to. Okay. Okay, so. We're good. I can, I can attach the drills to that. And then... We can go to other asteroids and we can get some resources. And we can get this big ship going. But for now... I think I'm going to go inside. I'm going to take off this damn helmet. I'm going to get some real air. Hopefully it doesn't taste all electrical, like burnt ozone. Can I go inside? You know... <sighs> Since last time I had my helmet off, I almost died. This is nice. Let me just... I can't believe they think I'm dead. I hope they're not too far away. This has been the personal log of Engineer William Patriot. Survivor of the UCF Boreas. I'm getting there. But it's going to be a long road. <sighs> Signing out.